Well, let me say first of all that it was very important to evaluate uh, decentralization, our activity in decentralization, because this is a new, has been a new policy area, a new area for support. And so it's clear that there would be a learning curve. Decentralization is very important, both because of the empowerment of local authorities the devolution of powers to the uh, where the ground where the action happens and it is important for service delivery to the population and the question really is have we succeeded in that uh, the evaluation clearly says that there has been quite some policy development also quite some search for effective cooperation with other donors the member states often uh, member states who have a lot of experience on this so uh, there were even a drive of the commission to search for these complementarities we also see that in the field uh, decentralization has moved on on the agenda so more and more people are informed about this are interested in this are engaged in this including those who are not in direct support programs to decentralization more and more the sector people say ah but we have to work on decentralization the budget support people they say yeah but we can provide budget support but more and more it's at the centralized level that the services are, are, are delivered so we have to factor in decentralization so i would argue positive thing the policy has widened there was more knowledge and the demand in the field has increased uh, so that's the positive thing but you know very well if the demand increases in the field that the pressure is also on the commission to say how will we deliver effective policies how will we deliver them and then for me an important message of the evaluation is to say and they have four questions on results and if you look at the four questions on results they say yes you provided more resources you helped to build infrastructure you helped to build capacity but the political aspects of decentralization there the effects have been very limited and it was very difficult for instance to have a policy dialogue with governments, central governments that are a bit reluctant to really decentralize. It's very difficult to uh, say, okay, but where are the non-state actors in local governance? Uh, one of the findings is that very little has been done on accountability. But if you don't have accountability, you can have all the services and funds for the services. But if you don't have citizens who demand services, so that's also political, of course. Eh? And then we have seen other examples where it's not easy to involve the citizens in policy making at local level in monitoring the quality, quality of the services. So I would argue that the evaluation says, yes, good work, interesting experiences, but you still need to strengthen the political uh, dimension of all your work, the political capacity of the Commission to enter in that messy arena of decentralization. It's mainly a political reform driven by politicians who look after political outcomes and we need to integrate that in our work. It's not a technical reform, it's a political one. What does it mean? This means that we need to apply this political economy analysis from the beginning. We need to understand. And even when we work uh, with a government, it's not an homogeneous entity. There's uh, different drivers in a go inside a government. There's people inside this government who wants to push reforms. There's people who is reluctant to reforms. And we know to, we need to know all these kind of things. Also, we need to know that uh, it's not possible to do that with a single ministry. I mean, we have to work with the uh, Ministry of Finance, Ministry of Interior, Ministry, sector ministries, local governments, and each stakeholders would have uh, his own vision about the reform. And we need to, need to deal with all these questions. We also need to bring the local perspective to these discussions. Two messages. Le premier, c'est que la décentralisation est un mouvement inéluctable et que la Commission européenne ferait bien de la mettre parmi les priorités politiques de ses interventions. Deuxième message, les collectivités locales sont désormais des acteurs mûrs et présents. Dans le cas de l'Afrique, il y en a 27 000. Et cela veut dire que la Commission doit savoir travailler de manière décentralisée. Il faut que les délégations aient la capacité d'entrer en dialogue structuré avec les associations nationales de collectivités dans les pays pour que la question de la décentralisation soit dans les priorités d'intervention de la Commission et de l'Union européenne en général.